Our right, today's scripture comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13 through 16. <clears throat> Please hear the word of God. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today is the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany, and our today's text is a uh, uh, coming, not only coming from the lectionary, but it is a unique text in our American history. In 1630, Puritans left from the Great Britain and they sailed to find a new land. When Puritans came to Massachusetts Bay, or that area, about a three quarter, meaning 75% of the people in ship died from sailing for a long time. Maybe they had various seasick or disease. While everyone was on the board, while everyone was still on the ship named Arbella, Reverend John Winthrop delivered a sermon called A Model of a Christian Charity on that ship. John Winthrop used our today's text. His three main focus of the sermon was, number one, the Puritans are to be the salt of the earth. Number two, Puritans are to be the light of the world. Number three, the Puritans are to build, code, a city upon a hill that everyone from the world would model after. That was the foundation of our nation, this nation. Not only John Winthrop used this text, in 1961, John F. Kennedy used this text and coded the words, the words of John Winthrop during an address delivered to the General Court of Massachusetts. Former President Ronald Reagan used city upon a hill language during his 1984 acceptance of Republican nomination speech. And in his January 11th of 1989 farewell speech to the nation. And last, Three years, those of you Korean congregants or those of you adult congregants who actually pay attention to what Emmaus United Methodist Church at Stratford Hill does here and there, this text was our slogan for the last three years. Many public individuals and great preachers use this text to deliver this message. We need to be the salt of the earth. We need to be the light of the world and we have to build or make a city upon a hill that cannot be hidden. Those are great and inspiring messages. But as you guys know, I always deviate a little bit. So today, I will deviate as well. I'll reread key verses of verse 13 through 16 for you. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are. That language is not to be. You are not to be the salt of the earth, nor you are not to be the light of the world. In Greek, it's esti, you are. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. It is a second personal, plural, present language. Contemporary translation would be, y'all are. You guys are. Who was Jesus talking to anyway? Jesus was talking to those who are interested in hearing Jesus' teaching. Jesus was talking to those who were following him from the first place. Our text, this text from the Gospel of Matthew, was being read to its members, faith community of the Gospel of Matthew in the first century. If I use it in our own today's contemporary setting, Simply, Jesus was talking to individuals who are sitting on the pew, you and I. 
Simply, Jesus is talking to his people, people of God. So Jesus Christ was telling them, letting them know, letting the followers of Jesus Christ know, letting you and I know Christian identities. You are the salt. You are the light. Jesus identified as his followers as the salt and the light. Then Jesus said something about salt losing its saltiness. You are not try to, you are to try to hold on to that saltiness. The saltiness, I see it as more of a relationship with Jesus Christ because Jesus identified us as the salt. It is him who identified us as the salt. And that saltiness is an attribute of our relationship between ourselves and God. In the same manner, Jesus called us as you are the light of the world. A city upon a hill cannot be hidden. Just like salt and saltiness, like saltiness being the attribute of a salt. This city upon a hill cannot be hidden is a characteristic or attribute of a light. A city on a hill cannot be hidden is a statement about light. Then I have to think of the function of the light. Light shines. With light, we can see. Without the light, we cannot see. Then the metaphor is much smooth. You can always see the city on a hill since it sits on higher altitude. Uh, we can see city on a hill from uh, any directions. It can, so it cannot be hidden. Light and sight has a very close relationship. We cannot see without light. But since Jesus called you, Jesus called us, the light. Think about this. World cannot see without you. Seeing is a very theological language in the Bible. Those of you who've been participating in my Bible um, study sessions, whether it's in youth group setting or adult setting, you guys would know. Seeing, hearing, knowing, returning, those are theological terms. Those are terms to describe our relationship with our God. Through you, the light, the world ought to be able to see God. Through you, the world ought to be able to see Jesus Christ. I repeat, through our behaviors, through our presence, through our lives and faith journeys, People around us, our world, ought to be able to see God because we are the light that cannot be hidden. So if I summarize this, instead of, number one, be the salt, number two, instead of be the light of the world and build a city upon a hill, rather I would say, do not lose your saltiness or relationship with Jesus Christ, and number two, shine continue on your faith journey well as the light so that the world around us can see God, can see Jesus Christ through you, by you. Dear my beloved youth group students, English speaking congregants and fellow members of EMS United Methodist Church at Stratford Hills, we have to try hard not to lose our saltiness, maybe through Bible studies, maybe participating in worship, reading of daily scriptures, prayers, meditations. We are already defined by our Savior Jesus Christ as the salt. We are to hold on to saltiness, the attribute of the salt. We are to hold on to the relationship with our Savior Jesus Christ. Through various ministries, such as being leaders of a group, serving others, serving your fellow members, volunteering, Jesus called us as a light of the world. Live your life as a light. Let the world around you see that you are Christians. Do you guys remember my little um, example that I gave you about three weeks ago? As I was driving down from Washington, D.C., I encounter a pickup truck that was driving idiotic, but it says, the roof guy, family Christian owned. At least that business 
identify itself as Christian. As Christians, shine, reflect the light of Jesus Christ to others so that world may see the Christ in you and the world may see God through you where the world may see in the light of a gracious God. May all of you, may all of us, remember that you are the salt and the light of the world. Let us pray.